In this tutorial, we will see how we can work with images in Marinette Studio uh, Editor. So, in order to import one image, we need to press the Import Image button. And let's say we want to add this um, character into our Animation Editor. Uh, let me center a little bit uh, the image that uh, I've just imported. And now I can show you how we can translate, rotate and resize the image. So for the translate part, I'm just need, I just need to have selected the translate button or just press the M um, key on my keyboard. And once I have, um, I have this um, uh, button pressed, I can translate, the, um, I can move the image around uh, my animation scene. Um, for the rotating part, just pressing the R key uh, on my keyboard or uh, I have the rotate bot button enabled and can, I can see that my um, image rotates after my, uh, my mouse. Uh, of course, we can resize it um, to make it uh, bigger or smaller depending on the objects that I have in my, anima my animation scene. Good, another way of importing images um, and I think that it's a little bit easier to use that, just this one, is to just drag and drop a bunch of images, if I have multiple images one. Let's say I already have this uh, image selected, I'm just drag and drop into my editor scene, and um, after that I'm uh, starting to manipulate them. So let's move them a little bit um, around. Um, so I have this branch, I have this um, uh, character, my uh, first tree, um, let's make it a little bit small, this one, and after that to move it, to another tree, and, um, and this um, red apple. Okay, um, what I would like uh, to show you is that all the images that are imported into our scene goes under the sprite um, folder. So I will see here are my imported images and once I select one image um, I'm seeing their properties on the right hand side of my screen. So I also can move, um, um, I can change the positioning, the X and the Y coordinates for it, the rotation part, um, the scale, um, let's say I just want to uh, scale a little bit. Uh, and opacity for it. So that's about it for working with images in Marnet Studio animation platform. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel.